Here are the top news headlines for the day. The Ministry of Defence through its Department of Military Affairs has notified the second positive indigenization list consisting of 108 items. Complementing Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi's vision of an Atmanirbhar Bharat, the second list will boost active participation of public and private sectors to enable self-reliance and promote defence exports. The second list will focus more on weapons and systems that were currently under development or undergoing trials. This is said to enhance the capabilities of India's defence industry while simultaneously creating more investment opportunities for domestic research and development. Following the approval of the first list in August 2020, the second list will be progressively implemented from December 2021 to December 2025. India's Minister for External Affairs Dr. S. Jay Shankar will chair a meeting of BRICS Ministers of Foreign Affairs today. India as the current BRICS chair will be convening the meeting today with foreign ministers from Brazil, Russia, China and South Africa expected to participate. Situations arising from the COVID-19 pandemic, a reformed multilateral system for effective addressal of modern-day problems and global issues of concern, sustainable development and counter-terrorism are expected to be discussed. The procurement of wheat during the ongoing Rabi marketing season has touched an all-time high, with 13% more procurement compared to last year. Against a 360.28 LMT procurement last year, 406.76 LMT wheat has been procured in this year's corresponding period. Over 43.5 lakh farmers have already received benefits from this record procurement for which MSP value is 80,334.56 crore. Over 117 lakh farmers have also benefited from paddy procurement at MSP in the ongoing Kharif marketing season. The total procurement so far has been for over Rs 1.48 lakh crore. The Oxygen Express has reached another milestone with the delivery of over 21,939 metric tons of liquid medical oxygen to the nation. More than 1,300 tankers have been successfully transported. In the Delhi and CR region alone, 7,500 metric tonne of liquid medical oxygen has been offloaded so far. Liquid medical oxygen delivery to Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Haryana has crossed 2,000 metric tonnes each, whereas nearly 3,797 metric tonnes of oxygen has been offloaded in Uttar Pradesh, 656 metric tonnes in Madhya Pradesh, 1,896 metric tonnes in Andhra Pradesh, 1,978 metric tonnes in Telangana and 614 metric tonnes of oxygen has been offloaded in Maharashtra. These trains are running on speeds well over 55 on long distances by utilizing high-priority green corridors.